Yeah. Our Lord is good. All the time. Amen. Children of God, I just have a little word of a word of exhortation for the hand for me. It's not little, no matter what is little. I have a word of exhortation before this this afternoon. And the topic says what is holy communion? What is holy communion? We, every day we always uh, talk about holy communion. Holy communion. Holy communion session is 3 p.m. Holy communion session is 6 p.m. Holy communion session is so so p.m. What is holy communion? What do we mean by holy communion? Is it just to come and eat? Some of us we understand that holy communion is come eat the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. It's called holy communion. But it's more than just that. Just eating and drinking the blood of Jesus Christ. It's more than that. These are two words joined together. Holy and what? Communion. If you understand the meaning of holy, the word holy, what the word holy means, and what the word communion means, you will actually know what we are doing, what the Lord Jesus Christ is doing with us, or what is doing through us, or what is expected of us to be doing. Praise Master Jesus. Holy means spiritual purity. Spiritual purity. Something that is spiritually pure. To be spiritually pure, to be pure, that is what we call holy. So what is communion? Communion is fellowshipping. The art of brethren fellowshipping together. The art of coming together of brethren to fellowship together is called communion. To commune together in love. To fellowship together. Spiritual fellowshipping. Now I'm talking to children of God. So spiritual fellowshipping. Spiritual coming together in a holy manner. Praise the Lord. In a pure manner. That means our hearts must be pure in this gathering. So therefore, it's not only when we want to eat the body and drink the blood that we should gather holily. Anytime we gather together as children of God, we are doing holy communion. Anytime husband, wife, and children are gathered together, they are in holy communion. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, if I mute you, don't omit yourself again. Don't offend the Holy Spirit. If I mute you, please remain that way. Praise the Lord. Holy communion. So come together in a holy manner. That means whenever we gather as a church, we are in holy communion. Whenever two brothers are together, they are what? In holy communion. Whenever you are even alone, communing with the Holy Spirit or with Jesus Christ, when you are in a pure state, we are in holy communion. And this is the reason why today, in today's churches, the Holy Spirit does not come around again. Because the children of God, they are not in holy communion. That's why in our family today, the Spirit of God, most of our family today, the Spirit of God is no more there. Because the husband and wife, they are not in unity of mind. They are not in holy communion. Praise Master Jesus. Today, what we see today is counterfeit, counterfeit spirit that come around and they say, the Holy Ghost is here. Where the children of God are not in unity of mind. Where envy and strife is everywhere. The Holy Ghost cannot come there because it's holy. So for him to descend on you, for him to come in a place, that place must be holy. 
the brethren must be in an holy communion service. Praise Master Jesus. That's why the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 4. And this thing read this thing write we unto you that you that your joy may be full. This day is the message which was which we have which we have, which you have heard of him. And declare unto you that God is light, and him in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. If we say we are with Jesus Christ, we are in a holy communion, we are in a church, and we walk in darkness, that means we have sin in our life. Remember, sin is darkness. We have sin in us. We have envy, hatred, barbiting. Malice, lying, and we, we are saying we are in Christ is a lie. That is not a holy, that is a, 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 an unholy communion. Unholy communion. Though we are calling the name of Christ Jesus, hey Lord Jesus, you are is a lie. As far the minds are not together, as far there are sins, we are not in holy communion. The Lord cannot be there. Say we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light and he, as he is in the light, we have fellowship. That means if we are holy, if we are pure, I am apostle, thank God, we have the same mind. No envy. I am apostle, apostle peace. We are in the same mind. No jealousy. And we don't lie against each other. We are in the, in the, same, in, in the same sine qua non. We are moving party pursue in the same lane of heaven. So then we have fellowship one to another. And the blood, this is where the blood comes. You see? This is where the blood of Christ can come. That's why many people come and go back more sickness, more pain, because your mind is not pure. Because you are not in holy communion, you are a different mother. You are you are unholy. Try to join the holy people. You can it can it can't work for you. So then, the blood of Jesus Christ He saw cleans us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and, and to kill us from all unrighteousness. That is why whenever you are coming to the table of God, you must try by all means to clean yourself. Many of us will think we are already, already holy, we don't have to be clean again. Hey! But if you don't open your heart to know who you are, you will know how dirty you are. If we say we have no sin, we make ourselves lie. That's why on this mountain, we confess sin by second view. So that we can be in holy communion. We can be in unanimous holy communion with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said in Acts chapter 2 verse 42. And they, and they continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine. And fellowship. And fellowship. Holy communion. They continue steadfastly in the apostle doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer in one mind. They continue. No rebelling. No rancor. No jealousy. No wonder the Bible says, the, the, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost have come upon you. I said, before this can happen, I want to start these people. All of you must be together in Judea. Go and say that let me study the, the holy communion that you have together. All might must be together. And he was there for some time. He saw that they continued steadfastly in the apostle doctrine, in fellowshipping, in prayer, in breaking of bread. Then the Holy Ghost came upon them and they were endowed and filled with power. Do you need the power of God? You must be clean and pure. 
do we need the visitation of the Holy Spirit? We must come together in an holy communion, not just the body and the blood of Christ. No. If you eat it without, if the power come upon you, without you are not pure holy, it will destroy you. If you land of sin, you are finished. If you eat the body and drink the blood upon sin, you are finished. Praise Master Jesus. So therefore, we must do something about our mind. We must do something about ourselves. We must try to make sure to the, to, to the best of our knowledge, we are pure. Amen. In Romans 12 and 10, they be, kind, be kindly affectionate one to another with broad daily love in honor preferring one another this is holy communion this is what christ came to die for this is the reason that the blood of christ was shared that we might know how to affectionately come together broad daily love he died to bring us together he died to unite us together. He died that we might be having fellowship together. This is what is happening in heaven. The saints are always together at all times. The angels are always joyful together. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, they are always in unity. Why can't we be so? And this is the reason he came to die. It's not just to, uh, let me, just to, for me, careful. no. For all to be in unity. For all to be in one mind. So he's telling us today, the reason why he's giving you an eye of the blood is for all to be able to live as those in heaven. So that when we get to the gate on that day, we will not be cast away. Be kindly affectionate one to another with broad daily love, in honor, preferring one another. Not with pomposity, not with pride. I am this, I am that, I am the. In, oh God, in a place where there is holy communion, you don't know who is general of us here. Everybody are the same. It's like when it's, that's why it was hard for the for the Pharisees to know who is Jesus Christ. It was hard for them to know who this man is. They don't know him. You know why? Because himself and the apostles, they are all the same. It was hard to know who is Jesus Christ inside because they were all in constant holy communion. Constant unity. When you see Peter, it's as if you are seeing Jesus Christ. When you see Andrew, they were all together. We can still be so. This is the number one essence of holy communion. Holy unity. Holy fellowshipping. We can fellowship together in unity. In love. How can we do this? By preferring one another. I believe Stego is wonderful. Brad Dennis is a wonderful man. Not just I, 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 I. No. No. So let us drive ourselves into love. That is the essence of Holy Communion. Let us commune with the Holy Spirit. If we are not in unity, the Holy Ghost cannot come. We'll just eat bread and butter and biscuit will go away. It cannot work. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. You all speak the same thing. Holy Communion. Speak the same thing. Be together in one mind, in one mouth. Today, the Christians of today, the they are with one mouth, but with a variety, variety of mind. Mouth is together because we are all calling Jesus Christ. We are, we are all calling Holy Ghost, but our minds are different. So we must be, come together and speak one thing. From our heart, not 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 with uh, jealousy or not with hypocritism, no, with truth, righteousness, and holiness. Speak the same thing 
and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together. Just the same way God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost are joined together. Three inseparable one entity. Three inseparable, inseparable one entity. Perfectly joined together. Perfectly, holily joined together, righteously joined together in the same mind. That means everything we are saying come from the same mind. In the same mind and in the same judgment. That's why today it's difficult for the Holy Ghost to fight for the for this for the Christian today. It, even with that say we are in holiness way now. We are all, almost all of us speaking different languages. If you are in that way, don't ever go to Apostle Manuel's own. Hey, who is Apostle Manuel? This is what the Lord Jesus Christ came to die for. He said that they might unite just the way we are united. The way we are united. This was the prayer of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I'm preaching this one. This, this, this afternoon, I never get ready for this. And this is what he died for. If you if you read the prayer, the last prayer of Jesus Christ for the world, for this for the children in John 17. So that they might be together as we are together. This is my endless expectation for my children. This is why I'm shedding the blood for them. So the blood can unite them together. So they can speak one language and do the same thing from their hearts. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. In the same mind and in the same judgment. We are one, you know. All Christians are supposed to be one. One Jesus, one Holy Ghost, one God. But today we have different Holy Ghost Jesus. Different Jesus everywhere. Why? Because our minds are not together. We have special motive. You are being motivated by another thing entirely. That pastor is being motivated by something else. The other one is being motivated. But it's not supposed to be so. How can we make heaven that way? When we are not able to do like this in our head, how, can, how are we sure? <laughs> how are we sure? Holy communion. Holy communion. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says, I'm closing very soon, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem one better than the other. Hey! No, 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 no. Not in this our generation. Hey, Genovacia must be carried as God. Hmm. The pastor's wife must be carried as the mother of all. The pastor's wife must be carried as if her leg does not regret again. The apostle must be carried as if he's God now. Uh -huh. That is the level we are now. That is the Christianity we have. But the Bible says it's not supposed to be so. Let nothing be done through strife. Or vain glory, vain glory is everywhere now. I am the general master. I am the coordinator. I am the general coordinator. I am the apostle. I am the work. Is it workman or watch, watchman? So therefore, you must take me in a very high esteem. When you see me, you must lie down on the floor. I, I will mount you. I say, God bless you. Hey, it's not supposed to be so. But he said, but in loneliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than itself. But today, he, hey, no Jehovah said think that the other one is better than him. Oh. Hey, no. He, he is the advisor of every other person. When he's talking, every other person must bury their head. 
He is the most wise. Afa is the leader of the group. Afa is the jealous. Yeah. Afa is the one that is head. Hey, he is the wisest. He cannot take correction from any other person. Or else he will be let down. What a shame. Is that what we mean by Holy Communion? No. Anybody that is involved in Holy Communion must be lonely in spirit. Must know how to take correction. Must esteem others better than they are. Hey, we must let we must let us praise each other. Let us celebrate each other. It's not only you can that will be celebrated. Let us learn to so that we all will make this heaven together. So that we will not drive some people out of the race to, because of frustration. Many pastors are frustrating people from the road. Many people who would have been able to enter heaven, frustration is taking them away. The pastors are disenfranchising them. It's not supposed to be so. Jesus Christ was a, a lonely man, a man with a lonely heart. That's why he said, Come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I will give them rest. Say, take my yoke upon you, for, my, for I am lonely, learn, in, learn from me. For I am lonely, my yoke is easy. But today, the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar is so hard, you cannot carry it. The yoke of our leaders are so hard, we cannot carry it. A leader of, leader of, the, of the church must be carried in a very high esteem. He must be on the top of the ladder while we all must be on the floor. It's not supposed to be so. The leader supposed to even esteem the people better than they are so the people can grow. That is the essence of Holy Communion. That we might rise each other, bring each other up. How can we make heaven like this, sisters? How can we make heaven like this? I have a lot to say, but no time. When you get to read First Peter chapter one, verse fourteen to nineteen. First Peter chapter one, verse fourteen to nineteen. Praise Mother Jesus Christ. So let me just quickly read John chapter six from fifty six. And we eat the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. John six from fifty. Say this is the bread which came down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. And I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Verse 51. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give him, give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. What a wonderful father. 52. The Jews therefore strove among themselves, because they don't know the meaning of Holy Communion. Just the same way some people are striving now. Saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? You know that some people don't believe we can live together in unity. Mm -mm. As far as you are not in my group, another group, we can't live together. Hey, I will say we are going to heaven. God have mercy upon us. Verse 53. Then Jesus said unto them, Very, very, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Verse 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drink my blood, eateth and had eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, 55 now, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drink my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Communion. Communion. Interwoven. Verse 56. 57 now. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. Communion. Be together. The Lord wants us to be. To, this is the essence of the blood. For us to be together with him. And have fellowship with one another. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as the fa your father eat the manna. Eat manna and are dead. He that eaten of this bread shall live forever. Mm. They died because they were not in one accord. Because they were not listening to what the Lord is saying. But thank God we are in a new era of the Holy Ghost. A time like this is a time that we must work together. The Holy Ghost, the Father, the Son, they are together. So we have no reason not to live together as one. 
irrespective of the denomination. In heaven, there is no denomination. Eh? You better know that now. Praise Master Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, the reason why we are here this afternoon is to eat the body and the blood of Christ so that we can be able to share love with each other. There is no love. Most of us, we share love with our mouths. Hey, Apostle. Hey, sister. So, so, so. Heart is different. But mouth is speaking the same thing. How can we make heaven like this? Hey. Only you want to be to, to be on top. The rest people should be, hey, you cannot go to heaven. You only pull your ring or put trouser or whatever you are pulling away for nothing. You will suffer for nothing. Pride must go. Hmm? Pride must go. Hatred must go. We must learn to esteem each other better than we are. Hmm? Honor all men. Love brotherhood. Fear God and honor the King. Hmm? Let's honor each other. Let's fear God. Hmm? Yes. With this, heaven is very close to us. With this, life will be sweeter. If I don't have anything against my mother, she don't have anything against me. Whenever I think of her, I will be happy. If I don't have anything against uh, Apostle, thank God. And you don't have anything against me. Whenever I think of me, I think of her, the spirit will be working well. But when, when we are hypocritically moving with each other, life will be difficult. That's why prayers are not answered anymore. And when it does not flow again the way it used to flow at, in the old days, because that time they were in unity. Hmm? Let us esteem each other better than we are. Hmm? It's possible. It's possible. May the Lord bless His holy word in our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This can only be possible if we are born again. If you know you are here, you are not born again. You cannot practice holy communion life. So if you are here, you are not born again. Say, I am here. So you can join the group. You, you can join us to be practicing holy communion living. Marriage will be sweeter. Coming to the mountain will be sweeter. Every go, the light will be reflecting. Say, I am here. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, we are going to press it further. At the junction, I will be handing over to Apostle Iberian. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Apostle. Praise the Lord. You lead you the prayer point and do, do the Holy Communion proper. God bless you. Now, what we take over from here, let me quickly do some things. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we have heard the word of the Lord. We want to go down on our knees.